Okay, back to our beautiful clean board. Now we are here to speak about the process of settlement, right? The, 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 the hierarchy, that's what they call it, right? The settlement hierarchy. Okay, okay, guys, as I've said, we usually had a relationship with our soil. Yes, this video is just a continuation. So go and watch our previous video, okay? Right, and it explains, it goes through how we are actually settling, right? And the first settlement, it is called isolated farmstead. Yes, guys, isolated farmstead. Where Sam Numzane is alone there, just alone. Let, let's try to draw an error. This is Sam Numzane's house. Isolated from everyone. We just can only see Sam Numzane's house in the map, right? And yes, guys, that is definitely isolated farmstead okay guys what is the definition you just make a simple definition you just maybe can say it is an isolated settlement which mainly focuses on primary activities you definitely die it is an isolated settlement which mainly focuses on primary activities you are done with your isolated farmstead then on top of our isolated farmstead what can we find we find our beautiful actually let me not draw a line here we find our beautiful okay let me first make an example if Tate Joshua makes his way here and even maybe Kamgobu makes his way here not to say they are making their closest way guys maybe there's still space for Semnum Zane to farm but then they are not, now we, they are visible on the map guys now that we can see more than maybe one farmstead remember this is, was an isolated farmstead now we are seeing a few farmstead right now we are seeing a few farmstead now it has come onto a hamlet so a hamlet is now created a hamlet is whereby there are now few farmstead on a settlement right there's a few grouping of farmstead on a settlement which mainly focuses on primary activities we are done a few grouping you say it like that then when now we can see there's a lot hey my goodness the, it, it it's happening and it is now over 100 people that are living in this area. Now it is no longer a hamlet. Now it has changed into a village. What is a village? A village definitely simply means uh, now there's a more grouping. There is a more grouping of farmstead, right? A more grouping of farmstead, which mainly focuses on primary activities. Can you see these definitions? are interlinking with each, with each other. There are more farmsteads now, but they mainly focus on primary activities. Okay, guys, so now when we have these three, this is definitely our rural settlement, guys. This is still our rural settlement. One, two, three, we are still in the rural areas. And currently, I think this is where I'm located here, where I am right now, where there is no electricity. There are no so much uh, economic activities that's going on. I told you that there's forestry, which they are pushing, meaning that's a primary activity on its own. We know hey, that X on a tree, it's never easy. Sam Numzane would never find himself doing that. No, no, no. I would never break myself. No, no, no. Okay, guys, now we continue. We are moving to, now we are moving to the urban settlement. Remember, this is still the same hariaki, right? It's still growing, still the same. Okay, now when there is what? Services, right? When now there's uh, services in an area, now there's a petrol station, there's electricity. Currently, there's no electricity, still a village. There's electricity, there's now right petrol stations malls are being built now it has turned into town okay guys what is the definition of a town maybe you can say it is a more populated settlement with complex uh, buildings right and a variety of economic activities you can just say that right definitely easy you definitely heard what i said right i said it is a more populated right with complex buildings, which has a variety of economic activities. That is a town, guys. Now we have a town. And then on top of a town, we start to have city now. These are cities, right? Now we start to have cities after the town. What is a city, an example of a city? Okay, 
a city of Johannesburg. Yes, guys, that is definitely a city of Johannesburg. Why city of Johannesburg? Remember, these are towns. When now we have more towns, right? Like, uh, let me say, where I'm actually coming from, the fire. We have Midlands, we have Dokkenji, we have Zola, we have... Right, now we have more towns that are actually looking like urban areas. They are developed, right? Then we can have a city, right, which can be Johannesburg City, right? It can be Pretoria City, it can be, but then now I'm speaking about where I'm currently located, Johannesburg City. Those are cities where now there are more developed urban areas, right? Okay, guys, what is its definition? You can definitely say it is a settlement which has a growing number of towns, right? And that leads to a various of economic activities and people are definitely living in that town in that city as well okay guys then we move to our definitely i think the city i wrote like yo there's nothing coming after that okay then after city we have what we call metropolis metropolis yes guys what is a metropolis definitely beautiful this one it is an independent city right which is surrounded by independent towns. Johannesburg doesn't have all independent towns, right? A lot of towns depend on the city of Johannesburg on itself. But then when we are talking about Cape Town, there's definitely a lot of areas that are not depending on Cape Town itself, right? They are depending on themselves. They have all the services that Cape Town can provide. So what is our metropolis? It is definitely Cape Town with its surrounding independent towns, guys. I don't know other, uh, I definitely do not know other. Please do some research, guys. I'm trying to make sure that I'm breaking whatever your teacher has already taught you into some simple form. Yes, and after our metropolis, we have our definitely conurbation, right? Yes, guys. Conurbation, damn it. Okay, guys, this is conurbation. What is conurbation? It definitely means now uh, when there are a, a growing numbers of cities and town and a conurbation is created, which can be like a uh, Gauteng itself. Gauteng itself. When Pretoria is growing, Pretoria is a city, right? Uh, West Rand, uh, uh, obvious Johannesburg on its own, right? When these cities are definitely growing, they are creating a conurbation. They are creating an urban area which is created by a continuous growth of cities and town and has various of economic activities, complex buildings. You can definitely add whatever you want to add. And then lastly, there's whatever I definitely do not know it it is usually happening in america if you want to learn about it you can do your own research i'm sorry this is where i learned this is south africa this is where i end this is the syllabus of south africa i don't know maybe they do teach about the last one which is usually not happening here in south africa but then me i'm not going to be doing it i'm sorry this is urban guys settlement one two three four and then one two three four it is rural definitely correct yes guys so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of i did this video without flipping electricity and because of there were some haters saying i definitely cannot do settlement so make sure that you like subscribe because of there's a lot of settlement going to be happening hopefully without this going on next time okay